Hey guys and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. This evening not so at home to Oldham. And can we please, please just win a game of football tonight, Knots? Like, I don't ask for much. Just score more than the opposition and actually defend for once. Anyways, let's let's try and start climbing the table from from this match onwards because I'm getting I'm getting annoyed at being so close to the relegation zone now. Come on, Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. <laughs> He moves out, it's a bit of a change, Dennis is still up for but Grizzly comes in, so does Thomas. I've no idea what formation it is, Turley is right back, thank goodness, so I can't go with another Elliot Hewitt punt at right back. Yeah, Charlie Slater said it was 4-4-2 with Alessandra and Baldwin on the wings with, Dennis, with Thomas playing uh, behind Dennis, and a 4-1, 4-4-1-1, 4-4-2. Formation, but if it's 4 2 3 1, I hope it's 4 4 2 because then it plays to Dennis's strengths. But if it's 4 2 3 1, not no chance. Like Crawley lost to us, and they how and they like in the top half. Oh. And we're behind. And second. It's nearly half time. Sorry for the lack of updates, but we're so shit. Go on, make it one 0 Good save, boss. Cleared one off, all the other one cleared off the line. Fitzsimmons also made a good save. Two ball teams. Fair in the end, it's as bad as the match. Um, there's not a lot happened there, really, has there? That, that's two. Really, really, really poor performances. Um, I can only imagine what both managers are saying at half time at the minute. They, neither of them can be a single bit happy with what's gone on that first half. Um, both teams have been passing the ball to nowhere. Um, I've got to say, they've, they've been better than we have. We don't seem to have any spark, we don't seem to have any energy. Um, we seem to be leaving their players with acres and acres of space. Okay, to be fair, we're trying to close it down when they get towards our box. Until they get there, we're just doing whatever they want. Um, a few just people who do slag instead. I hope you're watching this and you're actually realising how much we're missing when he ain't there. So, let's see what happens. But we're not losing, are we? Well played! He's just bought on Duffy for Dennis. He's just bought on Duffy for Dennis. We've had four shots all game. Oldham have had 14. We're the home side. Oh, there's another cross not stopped. Easy, easy. We're great, we are. We're superb. We're going to win the league. Get in! Oh, go on then, Louis! Oh, your shit. Come back to the ball. Come on, Brian! Right, Brian's a bit up. Look at him. We're fucking clueless. Yes. One nil. Oh, oh my roof got a shit touch. 
You didn't need to touch it if you were it. Give your post-match thoughts, Simon. Oh, wow. What have we just been through? Well, it, it weren't the most exciting and memorable evening that I've had. Um, it seemed a little bit of a strange substitution taking off the central striker and putting on the centre half. But yeah, we actually looked a lot better after, after we made the change. <laughs> but a lot better than absolutely awful, still weren't great. Um, but we did seem to create a little bit more. Um, there, there's real, real issues in that team. Um, thankfully, it's not my job to sort them out, because I really don't know where you'd start, because individually, there's a lot of quality there. But together, there really is something lacking and I, I don't know what it is but I'm glad uh, I'm glad he's the man who's got that task and not me <laughs> right so we're back we are and yeah I'm sorry for the lack of you know I'm sorry for this if this is a very poor vlog but that was a disgrace I'm sorry but that's disgraceful cool go you know go because it's clear the players aren't playing for you. There was, or is it the players? I don't know. What do you think, not Sons? Is it the players? Is it, is the atmosphere around the club not that great? Is it the manager? What is it? Because I've got no idea. Sometimes, I don't know whether to blame the players. I don't know whether to blame the manager. Is it the? I just, this just tonight there was just a lack of effort, a lack of desire. A lack of willingness to play for the badge. Now, I at least, I at least, you know, expect hard work. That is the, that's the minimum. There wasn't even that. We were very lucky not to lose tonight. Oldham deserved to win. And they showed that how poor they were as a side because they had, you know, they, they were like Port Vale sometimes. They had so many chances and they really should have scored. Like plenty of headers they really should have scored. Um, including one corner where two players were free in the box, completely free in the box. I don't know how we kept a clean sheet. It's it's a dis it's disgraceful. It's we spent almost half a million pounds in the summer and we're third bottom of the league. Uh, this time last season, I think Notts were top. How have we fallen? Why did the philosophy needed need to be changed in the summer? Why did we not keep Michael O'Connor? Why did we not keep the leaders in the team like Amiobi and Smith and Edwards? Why did the why did we have to completely change what worked? What the only thing that was needed was a little bit more passing. The whole philosophy didn't need to change. All undone by one chance a window. And why is it like this? And also, whilst we're bottom of the league, bottom of the league, whilst we're, you know, 22nd in the league, why do we have to, like, wait a few months to be playing great football? I, I, I love, I like, I'm a fan of passing football and I want to see that being played. I want to see, you know, my club playing good football. But when you're 22nd in the league and you're struggling for points, you, you can't, time's not a thing. You've got to battle. You've got to win. Look what Keith Carroll's done at Northampton. He's gone in there. He's winning games. And they're climbing the table. Cambridge are starting to pick up points now as well. Get a grip of yourself. Wake up. Get a meeting tomorrow morning. Players stab everyone from the manager to the whoever runs what department. Get a, get, get a meeting. Organise a meeting and just, just you know, talk, talk to each other and just think, what are we doing? What, 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 what are we doing anymore? Like, just look at ourselves. Let's just take a look at ourselves in the mirror and think, what the fuck are we doing?
Because it's just, it's not good enough anymore. These are won, what, one in eight? They're in financial shit. The manager's under pressure. And they dominated. What was it, like 16 shots to our five? Against a team who've won one in eight. Piss off. It's not good enough. At least battle. At least work hard. We don't look, we don't even look like scoring either. We bring off a guy who scored 19 goals in a team that got relegated last season and we bring on Richard Duffy. Come on! We're drawing 0-0 out to a team in 17th place and we bring off a, a striker who scored almost 20 goals last season and we bring on a centre-back. Behave! Why is it all the time we have to be a project? Why do we, you know, on the minute... Yeah, you know, obviously, like I said, I want passing football. I want to see that. But at the minute, you you just can't be like that. You've got to you've got to scrape wins. And Harry Kuhl just it's just not working, is it? You know, four defenders on the bench again. That's not due to the opposition we're playing. He's clearly fell out with the squad. He clearly has. If Patching, if Crawford, if Keller. It can't get on the bench. If Norrison can't get on the bench. Now, our midfield is the worst in this league. Uh, Macclesfield might be poor. But we've got no presence. When Rob Milson's your anchor, when he's your pivot, you know you're in trouble. Like, the guy the guy gets the ball. Yeah. He passes it straight backwards. And Elliot Hewitt, just bin. Go, just go. Just go, Hewitt, please. You were rubbish under Menees, you were rubbish under Fullerton, you were rubbish under Cooper, you were rubbish under Sheridan, you were alright under Nolan because you were carried by Ryan Yates, and now you're rubbish under Cure. Go! Gone! You're flipping useless! What it reminds me of is, a few years ago under Fullerton, we played Dagenham at home, and they were bottom of the league, and we drew 0-0, and it was one of the worst performances I've ever seen at Meadow Lane, and tonight... That is exactly on par with that. Anyways, if you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. You just do all that, you know, like I say every video. Stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, too loose.